Ladies and gentlemen, it's Russell in. Hello, how you doing, Australia? You all right? It's good to be back amongst the country of real men. Look at you, brutes. I see the size of brutish men. I saw one guy in the way in, not one ripple of meat, not two, but three. A triple ripple of fat between neck and head. <laughs> Proper hardcore Aussie, always with a tiny, beautiful female as well. Do you know what it's like? I'm recently single. Do you have any idea what it's like to be a single guy with a horrible, rapey gaze constantly surveying the horizon? <laughs> Do you know what I mean? I can, I can already see some Aussie men. What are you complaining about if I was in your position? You know, an Aussie man so heterosexual, I'm a bit disabled from it. I can't fucking move from how heterosexual I am. Fucking stick it in there, right? It's horrible. Just hunting for the girls with low self-esteem because I've got no confidence myself, right? <laughs> if all the girls with low self-esteem could just get in the one corner after the gig, it would make my life a lot easier. <laughs> I've got no confidence since my boyfriend left me. Get in the fucking van, get in it. <laughs> I keep ending up on dates with really inappropriate girls. Girls don't even want to be out with when I'm trying to prove my own masculinity to myself because I'm a bit camp. I can see some of the Aussie males going, he's definitely one of them. Why is he talking about women? <laughs> I can tell by the look of them, he's one of them. Huh? <laughs> don't you love watching some Australian blokes pretend to be okay with gay people when you can see they're not on the inside? Oh, I'm fine these days, whatever you are, gay or straight. Don't fucking touch me though, mate, don't touch me. <laughs> fucking break your hands off, put you in the ute. <laughs> Is there any guy in the room that's good at saying no to a girl? I'm not. How many guys in the room were given the talk by their mums or dads? None. Every single girl in this room was given that. If you don't want to go through with it, babe, you just tell them. It's your right to say no at any time you like. Even if you're back at his and you're half naked, you can still say, I'm sorry, I've changed my mind. It's your right. Okay, mum, have a nice night. Bye. Right, everyone's... Every girl's had that. How many guys in the room have had the equivalent talk from their dad? Not one of us. You don't have to fuck her, mate. You don't have to. Yeah? It's not... If she is lying there, shaven and oiled and begging you to fuck her, you can refuse. If she... If she lets his mate and then says, fuck us both, just walk away, boy, don't be pressed. Oh, <laughs> well, you're warming up now, you filthy bastards, aren't you, eh? And, uh, can't get drunk in Australia while I'm here. I won't get back to wherever I'm staying. You have to get drunk in the town you get drunk in Australia, because only a handful of them are easy to pronounce, like Melbourne. Most of them have... How do you guys ever get home when you're pissed? It's easy in England. Pissed off your tits. Take me to Hull, Derby, London. You can just sort of <laughs> fall into the car. What happens to you lot when you get drunk? Where are you going to, mate? Terra Nunga Nunga Nunga. Terra Nunga. Fucking leave me in the alley. I can't be fucking asked. And my old man as well. I mean, ultra heterosexual working class male. He doesn't like the way I portray him on stage. Why'd you make out? I'm not an emotional man, boy. You know? <laughs> and there's loads of Aussie dads like that. They want to be, they love, but they're not loving. Do you know what I mean? I love you. I'll jump in front of a car for you, but between the ages of 12 and 18, I won't speak to you. That's all. <laughs> And he says, when I see you on them programs, boy, and you make me look unemotional, why do you make out I'm not a loving father? And I think, wow, here comes the confession of love. It's taken me satirising his masculinity on television for him to come forth and declare his love in the kitchen. I know it's going to be a bit American-y and awkward for a British ear. You know, Christmas, where suddenly your dad's over 50, the hat's skew if he starts to cry and show his emotion, because that's when men finish puberty at 50. <laughs> at 50. <laughs> That's when we stop being violent, immature little boys. Hey, I've lost my car keys. I'm not going to smash up the lounge. Happy 51st. <laughs> right? Huh? Yeah. Huh? And, uh, and he goes, why'd you make out I'm not a loving father? And I thought he was going to tell me he loves me. Do you know what he came out with? Why'd you make out I'm not loving? I never fucking hit you. That was it. <laughs> father of the year, as long as you don't beat him. And he backed it up with this. Do you know why I never hit you? Here I thought there comes the love. Do you know why I never hit you? Why, Dad? Why, Daddy? I might as well have said I was so craving it. Do you know why I never hit you? Why, Dad? And this is what he said. Because if I started, I wouldn't have fucking stopped. <laughs> right. Ladies and gentlemen, good night. Thank you very much.